two years ago, we went to a party in the summer. We were being irresponsible and underage drinking as we thought we were around friends we could trust. I'd left my drink on the side whilst I went to the toilet. I came back and hadn't realised that something had been put in it. A bit later on, I started to feel dizzy and someone who I thought I could trust took me into the bathroom. They took advantage of the situation I was in and the fact I was under the influence of alcohol. Many of my friends witnessed this situation and yet did nothing to prevent or help. They were examples of passive bystanders. So what is the difference between an active and passive bystander? Being an active bystander means taking action calmly to prevent harm in a situation where someone may be in danger or at risk of harm. A passive bystander is one who observes but does not interfere with the situation in any way. Often, being a passive bystander is due to the fear many people have of something potentially happening to them. Research shows 77% of witnesses have seen sexual harassment take place and have not intervened. Surely young people don't witness harassment that often. Actually, 72% of young adults aged 18 to 24 have witnessed sexual harassment while out drinking. By becoming an active bystander and making your voice heard, you are reducing the amount of people being sexually harassed. As so far research shows, one in four girls and one in six boys will be sexually harassed before they turn 18. So far, research shows one in four girls and one in six boys will be sexually harassed before they turn 18. This is not okay. We need to address this as sexual harassment is becoming too normal. If you experience or witness any form of sexual harassment, then please don't be scared to call the Rape and Sexual Abuse Support Line on 0808 or speak to a trusted adult or MVP member.